In this video, we're going to explore one way that the Jupiter-Saturn Great Conjunction in Aquarius of 2020 has affected one person and the movement that she has created. If we have not met before, my name is Alison. I'm an astrologer in Vancouver, Canada. I'm really happy to be able to introduce my guest today, which is Jessie Theodore, and she has created a brand new movement uh, based here in Vancouver that is going to change the world. As you're going to see as we chat with Jessie that the impetus for this change and this, the inspiration for creating this in the first place has come about by a very powerful transit to her chart from the Jupiter-Saturn conjunction, that the great conjunction that is occurring in Aquarius in late 2020. This has actually stimulated her chart and we're going to talk a little bit about that and what, how she has responded to these energies that, are, that have come through in her transits. So let's have a look at that. So hi Jessie, uh, so nice to have you here. I wonder if you could tell us a little bit about how you got into astrology. Yes, um, well I've always kind of been interested in astrology but it, it happened about in 1993. I was introduced to this book and it was by I think Demetra George and it was a workbook on astrology and this kind of created a type of support for me and there was something about astrology that resonated with the truth and so what I would do on a daily basis is that I would place a lot of sticky notes on this book and so that I'd go back and forth and back and forth to be like okay these are the planets and this is this is what I write and this is how I feel and it just made so much sense to me and I've it just continued. This is like a daily thing in my life, but I've never really brought it up to the surface until now. Until recently, right? Until recently. And I understand you're also mm -hmm. a singer. Could you tell us a little bit about that background? Yes. Um, I've always enjoyed singing in groups. It's kind of, it's my moon in the 11th house. So <laughs> I enjoy connecting with people and singing kind of provided this for me. Uh, I, I love cover bands and this took me on a trip to Asia and then I joined the very first Singapore Idol there and it took me on a roller coaster ride. Um, I got to host in front of the TV and do um, judges, being a judge on some shows. Fantastic. And, and then my Saturn return came and I had to come back and, oh, <laughs> and go through a whole new process. <laughs> All right. But I just, I, I love being with people and I love singing. Um, so I've continued that here in Vancouver. So I do have a band here called The Suits. Okay, I do. that's that's so interesting. I had no idea. We'll we'll have a look at that. So Jesse, I wonder if you could tell us a little bit about this new movement that you want to share with us. That's so terribly interesting. Yes. Um, so one day I had this chorus pop into my head, and I felt the wave of the world kind of show up. And maybe I felt the injustices, maybe I received too many messages in the world that could be maybe more negative messages than anything. Um, and I felt that more than ever, we need more, less, more messages of positivity out there. And I thought maybe a one course, maybe gathering a bunch of singers or artistic expressions together to send out a message of positivity, of light. And if we can do it on one day a month, at exactly the same time, then it creates a bigger impact. And I think it's just grown from this point. So it was started with one little chorus. I share with everybody. Everybody can do whatever they want. They can speak it, they can rap it, they can sing it, they can act to it, they can cook to it, they can play music to it, change it up however they want and record themselves on their um, camera and post it onto their social media platform. And it's really about everybody. It's not about one person. It's really about everybody shining and opening up the channel to connect. You know, we need to see more positivity in the world, more light messages, and everybody is talented and everybody has something to offer. So I think this would be an opportunity to connect and also maybe go further and what happens after we connect. We're building stronger ties with each other. This is a stronger emotional foundation for all of us nice. that can, we can build on so do you what, what are you calling this movement it's called sound elevation you can yeah. find me on sound underscore elevation on instagram 
Okay. And to find the one course, you can email soundelevation1111 at gmail.com. Yeah, but it's just really to, to get excited and to share your joy. This is the whole purpose is there's a lot of negative messages out there. And I feel like if we just kind of get creative, get in our joy, it really is about everybody. It was just an idea for me to gather everybody together, but really you could do whatever you want with the, with the message. Hopefully everybody can get on board and, and have fun. It's, it's, if everybody thinks about the bigger message, it's really all of us uniting and being in our joy and what can we create in our joy would be probably a brighter future. Okay. So the idea is for those of us who are not singers that a, a chorus is like some, the words that we're going to be singing and the tune comes along. Is that how it is? And then we're all going to get together at particular times that you're going to tell us about to have this global sing along. Is, is, is that kind of how it's going to work? So I will be emailing out lyrics. Right. A voice with a melody without music in the background. Uh -huh. I will be emailing them both together, voice and music together. What I'm asking is you can create whatever you want. You can listen to the chorus. You can sing it if you want, mm -hmm. acapella. You can use it and sing it to the music if you want. You can change the background of the music if you want. You can speak it. You don't have to do it exactly like what okay. I'm sending it. It's actually just the idea of getting us together getting you could play it you could be cooking something and showing us what you've created you can sew something up and show your designs it's just okay. it's just an idea to get us together but not necessarily saying oh yeah please do it exactly like i'm presenting it to you All be right. creative with whatever you want it's anything goes there's no rules it's really it's just to stir some energy up to get everybody excited about connecting all right. So is there a particular astrological moment that you've chosen for this? And is there a reason for this? Well, when this popped into my mind, it was November the 15th. And I wrote down the time it was 10, 10 in the morning. Uh, I'm, I believe I'm starting to feel the effects of the grand conjunction in the sky. And this is, it's Jupiter and Saturn that are meeting up. And they're, they're going into Aquarius on the 21st of December. Well, my son is at zero two degrees Aquarius and I am starting to feel the effects. Wow. And so this surge of energy that just came through me was the humanitarian in me, the Aquarius. Yes. And uh, I need to gather people together for a bigger cause. Cause what is the future? Is it us connecting more, learning how to love each other more, um, building a community and, and, and sustainable living together, who knows what the future looks like. But I feel like if we, if we get into our joy and we connect, something else is gonna come along. It's just gonna grow from there. So uh, I'm just excited to share this because I've got <laughs> Jupiter and Saturn together. So I've got a lot of expansion going on inside of me. And Saturn has given me an additional responsibility uh, uh, mm -hmm. that needs to come out. So that's quite interesting because so what you're actually saying is that Jupiter and Saturn are coming together in, in a, what we call a grand conjunction. They're then going to both move into Aquarius basically on December the 21st, 2020. And they mm -hmm. will then, are they going, then to be going to be conjoining your sun at two degrees Aquarius. And this is what you're feeling already. This, this urge to expand and create with some, with some boundaries and, and so on. So this is what, this is really how you are responding, I believe, to this particular conjuncture because it is very specific to you and your chart, right? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So could you, so we are looking to, you, are we starting then in next year? Could you just lay out a little bit the timeline of how this will work? Yes. So right now I'm just, I opened up an Instagram account. The information is there for everybody yes. to read. Um, I'll be connecting with people along the way. There's more ideas flowing to me. So uh, I believe I'll be just connecting more. And as it gets closer to, I think you'll see more videos of me talking about it, maybe perhaps seeing other people talk about it. And it'll start January 2021, the first Sunday of the month at 1 p.m. So that's January the 3rd at 1 p.m. and it'll and I'm gonna try to do it every month 
until, you know, we get a little momentum. We'll see where it goes. I mean, anything goes. This is really just to connect and be in our joy. And honestly, watch other people create out of what they can, what they, what they have. So if they can do something different with it, it's going to be interesting to watch. It doesn't have to be exactly what I'm sending. So really, if it's, it's to get everybody together at a specific time, just sending more, more light into the world. Uh, it's such a fantastic idea. It's, it's so Aquarian. It's so 11th house. <laughs> what was it? 11th house moon. It really is that it's, it's like you're tapping into what you're supposed to be doing, which is doing this for humanity, doing it for everybody. And um, everyone gets a, a shot at it. Really. This is, this is what you're saying. There's no elitism here whatsoever. Right. Oh, absolutely. Everybody can join in any type of artistic expression, anything, everybody has something. So uh, I think if people look at it as, as uh, the bigger message instead of work, I don't want people to think of this as like, oh no, this is an additional thing for me to do because people can see it like that. So just if everybody can remember, if this is, if everybody can come together, it makes a stronger impact in, on the world if we're united. Yeah. yeah, and I'm excited because there's so many things happening in the sky. So there's this solar eclipse that's happening on the 14th. Yes. You know, this is in my this is in my my house of relationships partnerships contract. So um, who knows what is this going to spark up? <laughs> and then we've got the great conjunction on the 21st, and and I think Mars is going to be out of its shadow period actually yes. January the third. So I feel like maybe that's going to give people incentive to take part of this as well in some, in some, somehow. I, th I think this, uh, this is great. Personally, I, I, I'm not, uh, let me tell you, I'm not a singer. I do sing in the shower, but really I, I see myself um, taking this um, movement of yours and doing a, an artwork or something, because I do a little drawing on the side. And, and this is how I'm already planning to express myself through whatever your message is going to be in your lyrics so i'm thinking that's one way that it could be done and uh, which is probably how i will do it yeah yeah absolutely anything it's it's color creativity you know this message that you're being a part of all of this is is powerful in itself and showing up you know it, it's it's quite powerful just to see people it's, show up and yeah. i think the 2020 has been a challenging year and I'm saying that, uh, in the, yeah, it's been a tough year for many people, for everyone's connections. Um, I believe a lot more people are alone, living, you know, not going out, being at home and doing what you're supposed to do during a pandemic. But yeah. to to have an outlet to come together, knowing that you're doing things with other people, I believe would be that would be a great thing to do, you know, to be a part of something, even though we are separate at the moment. Yes. Yeah and this is the thing is we're all separate at the moment but we still have this connection online yes. and by staying connected we'll create a connection that might flourish in the future where we might see each other face to face this gives us an opportunity everything gives us an opportunity so for all the people that are um in fear and alone and, and I really do hope that this, this gives everybody a chance to connect because uh, we need to connect we need to open up the doors and welcome welcome people into our lives and and have the conversation you know, how are you doing or picking up the phone remember like it was 1998 <laughs> <laughs> we had to pick up the phone yeah and talk to people and make that connection because in a way it's very easy to become alone and um yeah it's yes it's and a lot of people are going through a lot of changes right now so um my heart goes out to everyone and my intention is really just to bring some joy and to shine some light and so i hope everybody takes this as light fun and refreshing Up, uplifting yes yes it, yeah. it really sounds interesting so we've got all the information it's on the it's on your instagram feed and we do have an email address which i'll put below where they can email you to get the chorus am i correct yes yes you can go to the instagram you can find the information there you can email the the address that um allison will post up yeah. and i'll send you the chorus and get creative we've got we've got some dancers that are involved we've got singers 
And the more people that I talk to, you know, artists like yourself and astrology and all the wonderful things that connect us together um, makes it possible. It sounds great. Yeah. So let's just um, let's just be quite clear then exactly um, how it how people can participate. It's straightforward. Could you just go over that again for us? Yeah, absolutely. So people can participate by going to the Instagram sound underscore elevation. There's instructions on uh, just email me. I will send you the course and it will come with the course with the music, the 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 music, the lyrics, and you can play with it. It doesn't have to be the same, right? All you got to do is record yourself singing it, speaking it, playing art to it, creating it, whatever you want. Yeah. Um, you record yourself, you post it to your social media platform on the first Sunday of the month at 1 p.m. All of us together make an impact, and that's why I chose the first Sunday of the month at 1 p.m., starting 2021. So hope to see you all uh, January the 3rd in next year. This sounds wonderful. And, you know, maybe during the course of next year, we'll get back a, a few months in and see how it's going. And uh, we're going to, we can let the viewers know how, how it's actually growing and developing and um, impacting people's lives. That would be a good thing to do, I think, as well. Oh, absolutely. I feel like it's going to evolve. This, this could be the, the beginning, but I think it's going gonna, it's gonna to grow because I feel everybody wants to share their light and this gives everybody an opportunity to do so. That's wonderful. It's a, it's a great initiative, a great movement. I'm, I'm so pleased, Jesse, that you uh, um, agreed to um, share this with us uh, today on, on my channel and with my viewers. Thank you so much. Oh, my pleasure, Alison. Thank you so much. Now I'm just going to give you an overview of exactly what the details are about sound elevation and how you can participate. So let's just go over a couple of things. So you are going to be emailing soundelevation1111 at gmail.com for the one chorus and lyrics, and then you're going to pass it around. You need to be following Jesse on Instagram at sound underscore elevation. So the main idea is one date each month, one time, one chorus, one impact. United, sharing the light for a brighter future starting in 2021. So your Sound Elevation social media post dates will be on the first Sunday of every month at 1 p.m. And we're starting on January the 3rd, 2021. And the full social media post dates will be January the 3rd, February the 7th, March the 7th, April the 4th, May the 2nd, June the 6th, July the 4th, August the 8th, September the 5th, October the 3rd, November the 7th and December the 5th, 2021. So how can we contribute? So if you are a singer, rapper, musician or a speaker, the idea is you want to learn the one chorus, record yourself cappella with music or playing the one chorus. And of course, you can spice it up as you wish or keep it simple. If you are a dancer, you could create a dance routine to the one chorus and then record yourself dancing. All artistic expressions are welcome. The idea is to create it and record yourself to the one chorus. Then you're going to post it to your social media with the hashtag and it's hashtag sound underscore elevation to add a message of positivity. So for Sound Elevation and Jesse's movement, this is a, an historic moment in time. These are Jesse's words. More than ever, we need to come together and shine our light. We can elevate the vibration of the world with our artistic expression combined. That expression will radiate a light in the world, bringing joy, healing and a connection for all. Creation unites us all. Speak it, sing it, rap it, play it, dance it, paint it. The more of us who join in, the more powerful the message. Let's make an impact, create and be in our joy. Let's create and imagine a brighter future world together. 
Hashtag sound underscore elevation. So there it is. This is a great movement and absolutely everybody can get behind it in, in one way or another. If you have enjoyed this video, do consider subscribing, liking or sharing it with anybody who would be interested. It helps me and it helps YouTube. I'm Alison Price. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.